The backbone links of a local area network infrastructure, such as into building links, are based on optical fibers. Multimode optical fibers deployed from the 80s were sufficient for the low bandwidth required at that time. However, the number of devices and bandwidth consuming applications have continuously increased, leading to a necessary increase in data capacity. Initially, upgrading active equipment in LAN infrastructure was sufficient, but today many LANs are limited in bandwidth due to intrinsic physical limitations of multimode fiber. Since single-mode optical fibers do not suffer from this limitation, the usual solution for bandwidth problems is to deploy new single-mode fibers. Let's have a closer look on how optical fibers work. An optical fiber is composed of a transparent core generally in glass surrounded by a glass cladding which confines and guides the light. The main difference between single-mode and multi-mode fibers is their core size. Core diameter of single-mode fibers is smaller, forcing light to propagate over a single path. On the contrary, core of multi-mode fibers is larger, thus light can propagate in several paths simultaneously. These paths have different intensity profiles and are called modes. Within the fiber, modes travel through distinct optical paths, therefore having different effective velocity. At a given length of fiber, modes arrive at different times. This phenomenon is called modal dispersion. For a given light pulse, modal dispersion leads to distortion of the input signal. After propagation, the input signal will be deformed, degraded and ultimately unrecognizable. Distortion increases with shorter pulses and longer propagation distance. Therefore, for one kilometer link and data transmission at 100 meg per second, the impact of modal dispersion is weak. The output signal is still recognizable. But when throughput increases, duration of light pulses decreases dramatically. Thus, for a 10 gig per second transmission, pulses 100 times shorter are completely distorted at the output of the fiber. This degraded signal leads to errors at detection and lower quality of transmission. Intensity of modal dispersion depends on core size of multimode fiber and its manufacturing process. It imposes a reach limitation for a given throughput. For 100 meg per second transmission, the maximum reach is largely not for LAN, but it decreases quickly for 1 gig and 10 gig per second transmissions. On the contrary, single mode fiber does not suffer from modal dispersion limitation. Single mode fiber appears as one solution to connect two distant buildings in the LAN. However, new single mode fiber deployment in existing LAN involves construction work and a complex and expensive installation. K-Labs is a company expert in light manipulation and offers an alternative solution without deploying new fibers. Aruna is simply installed at both ends of multimode fibers and enables the same performances as single-mode fibers without changing the existing infrastructure. By using four different modes of a multimode fiber as independent information channels, Aruna overcomes modal dispersion and enables transmission of four channels at 10 gig per second in the fiber up to 10 km. The Aruna racks are easy to install in a network bay. Aruna is passive, transparent to communication protocol and compatible with usual commercial transceivers. By gradually adding 10 gig per second or higher transmission channels, Aruna is future-proof and allows to anticipate today and future. Aruna enables a progressive and flexible network development. Aruna, a new you for your LAN.